Well, thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kenesha Dees. Talk of COVID-19 seems to come and go. And after living with the virus for more than two years, it's not as hot of a topic as it used to be. But there's recently been an update in the fight against COVID. The FDA authorized a new vaccine booster. Our Nixon Norman is live in the studio. Nixon, what's the latest? Kenesha, of course, just as the virus itself has been a major topic of conversation, so have the vaccines aim to fight COVID-19. People have had many questions about the various COVID vaccines and boosters, but here's more about the most recent vaccine approved by the FDA. Updated versions of the COVID-19 Moderna and Pfizer vaccines, also called bivalent booster shots, have been recently authorized. The FDA has an emergency use authorization for the bivalent vaccine. You may be wondering, with all the vaccines and boosters out there, why on earth do we need another one? For SARS-CoV-2, uh, the virus that causes COVID, um, has been mutating so much, and it's been always seems to be one step ahead of our vaccine efforts. In particular, this newly authorized bivalent vaccine aims to target the strongest of the Omicron variant. The new BA45 strain, which is the latest and greatest uh, strain, uh, that's the most dominant uh, strain that's infecting people currently. You also may be wondering, is there data that proves this new bivalent vaccine will work better than its monovalent predecessors? While there isn't any data in humans right now. Correct. There are no human data right now with this vaccine, although those are coming up very soon. There's still data that proves this. The other data is in mice, and in mice, um, it worked better when you gave this new strain of vaccine seen uh, and then the mice were challenged with the BA45 virus. And this form of experimentation and data collection isn't rare. It's actually fairly common. For influenza, we do this a fair amount. We do this every year. We include new variants of influenza without uh, human data because it's really, um, from a safety perspective, it's, it's really going to be very, very similar. For more information on how this updated COVID-19 booster can protect us from variants of the COVID-19 virus, head on over to our website. And as the campaign to get flu shots is gearing up ahead of the fall, health officials are hoping they can convince Americans to roll up both sleeves and get another COVID booster as well.